Simplify the following expressions by using logarithmic laws. Do not use a calculator and show all steps. Seven marks. This is what we have. We are supposed to use the laws of logarithms to answer these typical questions like what we're given on 4.31. On 4.31, we are given, that is our question, the logarithm of 81 in the base of x plus the logarithm of three in the base of x. So this whole part is divided to the logarithm of nine in the base of x. Remember I said, if the logarithms are considered to be of the same, like if you are considering the logarithm of, let's say, a four in the base of x, when it is divided to the logarithm of four in the base of x, we can simply cancel these because they are the same just like you're dividing two over two. Also, if you are able to add algebraic expressions x plus x, which is two x, the same thing if you're given one x plus three x, which is gonna give us a four x. It also means logarithms, they can be added as long they are the same. The logarithm of four in the base of x when added to the logarithm of four in the base of x, provided that these are the same, they can be added together. So if this is two log, if this is one log, I'm going to add two plus a one, which is gonna give us three, the logarithm of four in the base of X, just like I'm adding two X plus one X, which is equal to three X. So I treat the logarithm of four in the base of X, just like an unknown value, which is X. So this was the situation of our question. We were supposed to have the same number or the same simplification so that we'll be able to use any of these ideas that I was listing here. So how is this possible? These numbers must be in simplest form and the simplest number on earth is a prime number. So how can we write 81 as a prime number? The prime numbers, we talk of two, three, five, seven, and so on. So 81 as a prime number can be written as three, which is three to the exponent of so meaning to say, if I have this, I am representing the same 81 that is given, but writing it as three to the exponent of a four. So this is the same as the logarithm of three to the exponent of four in the base of X plus the logarithm of three in the base of X. Why? Three is already a prime number. It's in simplest form. So there's nothing that I'm going to do there. Nine is same again as three, but this is three to the exponent of two. So that is three to the exponent of two in the base of X. So as you are writing your numbers as prime numbers, it allows you to have the simplest expression ever on earth. The, simple, the simplest part that you can ever have. Simplest expression. All right. It also follows that under our logarithms, remember I said N, the logarithm of A was taken from the logarithm of A to the exponent of N. So meaning to say, if I have got an exponent like this, I'm going to drop this exponent to multiply the logarithm. This is n log a. The n was an exponent. So meaning to say, we can drop this exponent to multiply our logarithm. So that is going to be four, the logarithm of three in the base of x plus, already here it's in simplest form, that's just like there's a one. So I'm just gonna write this as logarithm of three in the base of x. We do the same thing in the denominator. So if we drop the exponent, which is two here, this is gonna give us two, the logarithm of uh, three in the base of x. So considering that I'm having these like terms, I'm having just like like terms, just remember the concept of like terms that I was explaining before. Remember that, there's a one. So this is log x plus three, log x plus three. These are like terms, just like I'm given four x, plus one X, which is five X. So meaning to say, if I add this four plus one, that is gonna be five, the logarithm of three in the base of X, we are allowed to add when it is like this. Everything over this, which is two, the logarithm of three in the base of X, just like you are given algebraic expressions, five X over three over two X like this, you can cancel the X and the X you remain with five over two. So that means also the log x base three and the log x base three, they can cancel, they are the same. So at the end, I'm remaining with five over two. So that was the whole simplification of our question. You have to be careful how these questions are given. 
applying your laws of logarithms where they are necessary. That is how you simplify this. All right, let us consider the other part of our question, which was again to simplify four marks for that. This is the logarithm of eight in the best, the logarithm of 16 in the best of eight. That is 4.32, the logarithm of 16 in the best of eight, plus the logarithm of one over 16 in the best of four, minus the logarithm of one in the best of a b. Remember, whenever we have this condition, it is always best to remember that the logarithm of a in the best of a is equal to one. The number and the best, if they are the same, we are going to have the one. And also to remember the last or the previous law that I talked about, that if you are given the logarithm of a to the exponent of n, it is the same as n, the logarithm of a, like that. Why are we supposed to do this? What we need is write these numbers in simplest form. We are supposed to have these numbers in uh, simplest form. All right. So if we are to check, we are going to be a little bit stuck on these numbers like 8 and 16, because this, this will be 2 to the exponent of, and this will be 2 to the exponent of. There is a law that I'm going to explain on this in this video. You are going to understand me. So in simplest form, 16 is same as the logarithm of 2 to the exponent of 4, and this 8 is same as 2 to the exponent of a 3. Plus, the logarithm of 1 over 16 is same as 2 to the exponent of a negative 4. Remember, 1 over I is to have a negative exponent. So this is 2 to the exponent of a negative 4. All right. The 4 that we are having can be written as 2 to the exponent of a 2 in simplest form. So this is 2 to the exponent of a 2. Knowing that the logarithm of 1 in any base, that's a 0. So the logarithm of 1 in any base, that's a 0. There's nothing that we're going to do on this part. All right. So it also follows that on this consideration, hear me out and please hear me out on this part. If you are given this scenario or this situation of this best and exponent concept, the logarithm of a to the exponent of m in the best of b to the exponent of n, it simply means m over n, the logarithm of a in the best of b. m over n, m over n, the a to the exponent of m, b to the exponent of m, m over n, m over n here. This is what I want you to understand. So means I can write this four over a three minus four over a two. It's very, very, very possible. These are the laws to understand. So meaning to say I can drop this and I can also write this. So it is going to be 4 over 3. So this is 4 over 3, the logarithm of 2 in the base of a 2, just like A base B. All right, plus we drop this exponent, which is minus 4, and this is a 2. So this is going to be minus 4 over a 2, the logarithm of 2 in the base of 2. Minus 0, there's nothing there. Remembering that the logarithm of A in the base of A is a 1. So the logarithm of a 2 in the base of a 2, that's a 1. So meaning to say this whole part is going to give us 4 over 3 times a 1. Plus and minus, that's a minus. So this is going to give us minus 2 times a 1. Log 2, base 2, that's a 1. So that's the idea there. So meaning to say at the end of the day, we are going to have 4 over 3 times 1. This is 4 over 3 minus 2, 2 times 1, that's a 2. So if you subtract uh, this one, you can just use your calculator direct, uh, 4 over 3 minus 2, this is going to give us minus 2 over 3, that is minus 2 tenths. So this is how you simplify these logarithmic expressions. It's all about the laws that you are using. Are you able to use the laws? So there's so different ways that you could have answered this question. I just hope with time we have uh, to work with another type of a question, which is similar to this, uh, working with different ways. Actually, we just need different ways or scenarios of answering these typical questions. But as you can see, these are the typical questions that you might be given. Uh, for now, that's it till we meet again.